Hey guys welcome to Mac Visuals and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create this really cool web banner design in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to follow along, check the link in the description and download the required files. So let's get started. First go to file and create a new artboard with dimensions 820 and 315 pixels. And hit OK. Now select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Change the color of the rectangle to a darker gray shade. Pause the video and note down the RGB codes to follow along. Now from the shape tool, select the polygon tool and create a hexagon while holding shift for horizontal alignment. Change the color of the hexagon so you can see it properly. Scale it up a little. And align it to the center vertically. Now select both the shapes. And in the Pathfinder window, click on minus front to clip the shape. Select the shape. Click and drag while holding down the Alt or Option key to create a copy. We will use this copy in a minute. Select the above shape and apply a stroke to it. Note down the RGB codes for the stroke color. Increase the stroke to 3 so it is properly visible. Now we will add a polygonal background here. I am using a polygonal background here to create a nice background layer. It's a large image so we need to scale it down properly. You can use any stock website to download free image for your background. Now right click on the shape we created earlier, go to arrange and bring it to front. Align it vertically to the center. Now select the above shape and the background. Go to object. Clipping mask and make. And move it slightly to the left so the stroke of background shape is visible. Select the above layer, and decrease the opacity to around 50 to 60%. Now select everything, go to edit. Copy. Edit, and paste in front. Now we have the copy of everything that we created. From the layers panel, select the gray shape which is the second layer and remove the stroke. Now select the above two layers and press Command or Ctrl G to group them together. Now move this group slightly towards left. Select the group, go to Effect Stylize. Drop shadow. Click on preview to check the effect in real time. Note down these properties of the shadow. And hit OK. Now from the layers panel, expand the group. Select the clip group, and decrease the opacity to 5%. Now we will add our text and logo here. Drag the logo image in Illustrator. And adjust it accordingly. Scale it down properly. Hold shift to keep proportions consistent.
Now we will add some text. Change its color to white. The font that I am using here is Poppins. Increase the font size. and set the alignment to center. Create a copy and add some more text. Zoom in a little. And from the character panel. Increase the tracking to a suitable number. Add a text box and add some dummy lorem ipsum text in it. You can go to lipsum.com to copy some dummy text. Adjust the font size accordingly. Change the color of this paragraph text to a gray shade. So that our headline text is more appropriate. Select the rectangle tool. Draw a small rectangle and change the color to the same pink shade that we used earlier. Zoom in to see the rectangle properly. Go to Effect, Stylize, and Round Corners. Select a suitable value, and hit OK. Now adjust the remaining text. Bring it to front. And align it to the center of the rounded rectangle. Now select everything, and align them properly. Take your time to adjust things perfectly. Now we can add an image of a model here. Drag the image of the model. Scale it down because it's a high resolution image. Right click on the image, arrange, and send it to back. 
scale it properly. Once you are satisfied, select the rectangle tool. Create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Now press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And here's the final output. Hope you like the tutorial. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.